Dear Mayor Ed Murray, Seattle City Council, and SDOT, thank you for expressing concern about the safety of pedestrians and bicyclists on the Ballard Bridge as highlighted in my open letter video. As we all know, the sidewalk is too narrow and dangerous, and therefore not many people can or do use the bridge as a crossing between Ballard and Inner Bay. I realize building a new bridge or doing huge improvements are incredibly expensive and will take my lifetime to complete. The good news is that you have proposed a $930 million Move Seattle levy that will fund transportation infrastructure improvements when it passes in the fall. The levy is anticipated to have money for maintenance, seismic retrofits, and studying a full Ballard Bridge replacement, but it also needs to include funding for safety improvements that can be built now. So in the short term, let me share how you can make the Ballard Bridge safer and easier to use. Make the sidewalk wider. Reduce the risk of injury. Make the north end exit safer and make the south end exit safer. The sidewalk is currently too narrow to fit a wheelchair, a bike trailer, or pass a fellow pedestrian or cyclist. But it can be widened from its current 3.5 feet to 6 feet. Take one foot of lane width from the outside lane by moving the curb and remove the current outer railing and attach a new railing on the outside of the bridge. This new 6 foot wide sidewalk will be much more pleasant and usable. There are also access stairwells blocking the sidewalk that could be instead accessed with trap doors. Removing the cages around the four stairwells will make the bascule portion of the bridge wider and more comfortable to cross. The current sidewalk is unsafe for bicyclists and pedestrians because of the lack of protection from fast-moving vehicles. A higher inside railing should be installed to protect pedestrians and bicyclists. By having bicyclists go in one direction like this photo, it will allow more space for all users. The speed limit also should be reduced to 25 miles per hour and have flashing warning signs. It is currently very difficult and unsafe to get on and off the bridge sidewalks. The single lane exit is 18 feet wide, much wider than it needs to be. The extra lane width can be given to the sidewalk and the narrowing of the lanes will encourage cars to slow down on the ramps. The sidewalks are also very difficult to enter or exit. Painted crosswalks and bike merging will allow pedestrians and bicyclists to safely enter and exit the bridge. Getting on and off the south end of the bridge at Nickerson and Emerson is also extremely difficult and getting across the street is impossible. Here's how to fix the south end of the bridge. Square up the intersection and add a stoplight. This will help slow down traffic, widen the sidewalk onto the Ballard Bridge, create new pedestrian crossings so people can easily access the bus stops, and create safer crossings for bicyclists. Add protected bike lanes from Dravis Street. This will provide a safe direct route for bicyclists from the Ballard Bridge through Inner Bay to downtown. The bus lanes should be painted in red and reduced to a normal width to provide space for the bike lanes. Connect to the Ship Canal Trail. SDOT has been studying another trail connection that is estimated at costing $18 million. Using Nickerson Street would save money, which can instead be repurposed toward the cost of creating the intersection. Remove the Emerson Street overpass. The overpass has been hit multiple times by trucks carrying oversized loads most recently in 2014, necessitating a $5 million repair. Solution, remove it. The city can then sell the parcel in the southeast corner to help pay for these improvements. This package of improvements will make the sidewalk safer, reduce the risk of injury, make the north end exit safer, make the south end exit safer, and all together make the Ballard Bridge sidewalk much more accessible, more frequently used, and more enjoyable for all users. The Move Seattle levy needs to include investment to short-term improvements to the Ballard Bridge. Dear Mayor Ed Murray, Seattle City Council, and SDOT, now that you know how to make the Ballard Bridge safer, let's do it.